this light is not great, but it is what I'm working with until I get my light. What it is. It is what it is. I just want to thank the Lord taking us through COVID, through lockdowns, through trials and tribulations, and we back again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Black Jesus had to shake the earth for us to get the message. <laughs> That we get, we had to get back to work. We had to get back to work and stop playing There's games. There's too much happening, and we needed to talk about it. How was you? Good. It's hardly peace, job, but here, there, everywhere, raising a baby. <laughs> she looking fabulous. She always I'm looking sure. fabulous. Hi. I'm looking fabulous. That's skin right. glowing, skin skinny. <laughs> Pandemic brought me to myself, and I can <laughs> truly say we appreciate Miss Rona. Oh, Cororo. Born a Cotrizi. Corona. The panorama. Chris Brissy? <laughs> the pandemic. It Panini pandemic was wild. Us. Panini was wild. But Panini. Not as wild as season six of Black Myra. Like, I don't even want to pronounce it properly because it don't deserve it. It doesn't deserve it. It, it don't deserve, deserve it. it. Then I watched it, and during watching it, I felt constipated. <laughs> it was so frustrating, I know. It was painfully disappointing. It was it was unsatisfying. Unsatisfying. It was disconnected. It wasn't even a tease. It was more like a comedy. Go into it, girl. Go into it. Yeah, I know. Because what Black Mirror is actually supposed to be is mm -hmm. a, a dystopian look at technology and how it affects humankind in the future. In the future, in the far future. Humankind um, and our need gonna, to be connected, our social exactly. need to be connected. It's right? sci-fi. Yes. Sci-fi. Remember that for later. Yeah. That remember all of that for later. The yeah. fear that comes with that also. It, which fear did we have in season six? Fear of dying of boredom. That was the fear. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Episode one. Joan is awful. My God. Um, I would like to say my first impressions of the episode. <laughs> Look at your face! Nightmare is not supposed to be a comedy. It's not supposed it's a to be. Slapstick and a slapstick. Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, thank you. I could not believe it. And the cast was interesting. We talk about, we knew once Black Mirror went to America. They were going to do this way. The stories are like, mm. the acting is like, we'll talk about the acting. And then <laughs> they throw like big A-list names at the show and you're like. Yeah, they're trying to distract you from what they yeah, could do. Yeah, be like, it's oh like, my God, look here. Meanwhile, what are they doing though? Like, what's because the story? What are they trying to say? Am I convinced that what they're trying to say? Joan is also is about, um, <laughs> I guess, the terms of service. We all sort of go click yes before we even read them because we want to download an app about a woman who finds out that her life is being broadcast on stream as a parody. parody. As a parody. It was, it was her life within a life within a life. A within a life. Within a life. <laughs> oh, no, Which no, I no. feel like is such a cool concept, but it at is, some point. Though. It got muddied I by, I have no idea. No, it's something about the veil being peeled off that we're just yes. like... It didn't matter anymore. It felt like they were trying to explain it way too much, where sometimes you don't need to explain something. The first four seasons of Black Mirror, nothing was really truly fleshed out. We never knew why something. It, it, it never really needed to conclude in a nice, sweet, tight bow. Because the goal was to leave us with questions and questions. Exactly. What is humanity doing? Like right you know? now, we could go like digress into a whole AI conversation that speaks to what Black Mirror has been doing all along to say, guys, is you What's checking happening? yourselves with what you're doing with tech? I mean, it's, it's nice. nice, it's new, it's exciting, but is it? But or score it for me. Out of five, I would give Joan a two and a half. And that was your favorite episode. That was my favorite. That is sad. Yeah, two and a half is accurate. Thank you. Two and a half. It was, and we see was, we're setting the bar. You know how, yes, how we're like, oh, they started with a bang when the show's good. This, this bang was like a bang, yeah, the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
How do Lock you know Henry. <laughs> Am I expressing my feelings enough with my face? Because they said body language is 75 to 80% of how people communicate. You look Lock incredibly Henry. excited about it. <laughs> was, the cost, was the cost anything to cry about? No, just one person. Which the was? actors were good. The cast, no, because I carry America did the thing of throwing a list, so we're there experimenting. But now there's no one there except for that awesome English guy. What's his name again? Joe John Hanna. John Hanna, oh, John who Hanna. is the only actor that we were like, oh hey, look our depressed oh, uncle. We know him, <laughs> right? Oh a filmmaker and his girlfriend have decided that they are going to make a film about a whole different subject. And when the girlfriend hears the story of Locke Henry, she's like, hey, this is a story that we could tell that's more compelling. Um, as he digs deeper, he finds out that the story is closer to home than he thought. And that might sound interesting, but it wasn't. It really wasn't until it was. At the end. <laughs> um, okay, so girl with no eyebrows really gave me stress because I was just like, sis, didn't you watch Get Out? Why are you doing this to us? Us as a people, us as a people who are like, oh, we're open-minded, we'll date outside the race lines, we'll marry, we'll do, but then you go. I don't care how brave you are. Tato, you know this. You cannot go into Stay the home. wilderness alone. This is not your mother's house. <laughs> and look what happened to her. Okay, episode three. <laughs> Wait, what would you score it? A one. Yeah, I agree. Okay, wait, I'm gonna give it a one and a half. One for the guy, uh, the bar guy that I liked, the bartender cousin <laughs> of his, and uh, the mother. The mother was just like the show for me. Cause she was bubbling she... under like a creepo the whole time. And you could see it the whole time under the service. You could see it under just the service. Just, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you feel about Beyond it? Beyond the sea. Ah. I remember writing to you while I was watching it. It was like, what the fuck is happening? But I like the acting, though. <laughs> yes, because this is the first time that America did the thing where they threw name brands at it. I think the casting was excellent. I think yes. the the guys delivered, especially Caleb from Breaking Bad, he... Oof. I believed Caleb. him. And that girl, that girl, that pale ass girl, that girl. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss. The acting was... Yeah. Was amazing. And I, you knew where the story was going? Like, you yeah. knew where the story yeah. was going? Yeah. It was, everything was painfully obvious, but also so frustrating, which speaks yes. to how well they delivered that story and how yes. well written that story was actually was it a uh, related to black mirror you know what they tried they tried because they made it like a sci-fi they are in space we are on robots yes. and okay, cool. were you scared no especially when in the first five minutes of the episode the threat was gone so you were like so what are we afraid of now you know we're afraid of cheating <laughs> we're afraid of the streets <laughs> we're, afraid, we're afraid of being cheated on with a robot uh, it's already yes. happening guys they have robot sex dolls out there come um, give me a score girl. how you feel i'm gonna give it a two and a half Oof, this one is difficult I'm give it two and a half and i'd give it like a quarter on top of a half because the acting was so good. Even that child, that creepy little blonde child, he did the things. That had nothing to do on set. Like, I felt that that little boy had nothing to do on set all the time. He was on call and they were like, stand here in the background. Don't say a word. Action. <laughs> Shem. I, but he I did the you, things. I felt like he was a prop more than a cat. He was. Yeah, they were like... I think uh, it was intentional mean, because of how they framed here. the family. Yes, yes. Yes. Also, was, to make it more robotic, right? To make it more yes. like speak to the how we're we're not the same humans anymore in that timeline. Even though the furniture and the styling and the clothes were seventies, uh, yeah. we're not. You know, we're not the same people. Can you give me, give me uh, as, as, as two, two and three. Oh. It scores higher than my favorite. It scores higher than my favorite. I knew that I would convert you. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> easy day, episode four. 
I don't remember it. Uh, ah, that's my least favorite. Ah, werewolf. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It traumatized me. That's why I don't remember it. Ah. Talking about, talking about remember it, the next episode is one of those that we kept on talking about. What was the last one? What was the last one? Because maybe the day was bad, but then it left that stamp of this is what I did because of the story being also like the previous episode, giving you what I was trying to say all along, right at the end. The story, the idea, whatever. Execution, I don't know. I mean, they did South what they Park did. did it better. Listen, so many episodes on this season. And I mean, it's not quite better. I did first. Also, like, not just South Park. Check The Simpsons. Check a Simpsons lot of others. Day. I know what everybody says. Like, there's no original ideas, just new ones. But, like, this is not even new, boo. This is recycled. Like, I was like, okay, I get it, but why? <laughs> and how does this relate to sci-fi? How does this Thank relate you. to Thank technology? You. Because this whole story was about Kanye West, okay? That's all, okay? <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> you blew me back. <laughs> Let's about Kanye West, and then he became Wolverine, and that is all. <laughs> this is all this story was about. I don't care who says what. What would Let's you score it? Half. Yeah, I'm funny. Yeah, I know. I'll give no, for, the, know, for no, the special no, effects. No, no, no. I'm gonna give it a, a one because because the metaphor was metaphoring also special effects, yes. And also because they had Zazi beats on there. I love me some Zazi. The, the main Marvel character. Movie. Yes, the, the girl that yes. Hollywood currently likes, the girl that is the definition of black right now. Her and Goku if they Mata like Rock. if they like her, why does she put did they put her in those? Oh, but she she signed up because it was Black Myra. So she but didn't Black know. Myra hasn't been Black Myra since season five. Uh, I'm giving it a one. You half done finish. I don't know if you're giving it a half. I don't know what you're gonna do with Demon Seventy Nine. And I will episode. throw it to you. Oh, no, I have nothing to say about this episode except for it's terrible. <laughs> it's very, very terrible. And it took me and Jabulo two tries to finish it. And I mean, I get trying to finish a movie that's two hours long because that's the standard for movies now, like over three days. Yeah. Cool. But an episode <laughs> over two days is that bad, bro. We kept on going to our phones and talking and like leaving it alone. Other episodes, we had the courtesy to pause and be like, maybe let's talk about other things and then go back. This, we just... We're like it's background noise. Let me tell you what we remembered: tall, dark, and handsome, and their white suit. With a nice ass, you know. With a nice ass. ass. Oh, <laughs> tell me what it was about again, if you remember. Oh, so, about being corruptible. It's a, and then in the end, it was a love story. If I will, I didn't I see know. that until you said that, and I was like, "Is it though? It's so creepy." Mm -hmm. so because it's, it's, and it does speak to the the human need for us to recognize things in other people that we see in ourselves even if it's things we don't like so i saw that at the end and i was like are they bonding over the fact that they're both fucked up and they're both going to hell or what's the bond? what's the glue the level Fear. the level of fuck up is is i don't understand like you could argue that they fucked up the same because he was supposed to encourage her to kill people and for that he would be a demon which again would 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 the demon race not rejoice in the earth ending there's too many questions and i'm thinking about it too deeply i'm really struggling because i think you, is uh, i don't even want to go into this episode it's so bad listen guys go and watch black mirror and if you haven't go for uh it. don't <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe go back to season one and start the whole four or five seasons from there and just, you know, save yourself. Don't watch this. Save, yourself. save yourself. We will be back for more reviews. We're going to be watching more and hopefully more better shows. 
better, something better and be happy. For example, um, if you haven't watched it, go for it. Louis Vuitton, men, spring, summer oh, fashion show. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. I have so many. Yo, we gotta talk about it. Let me joy, stop recording. Joy, joy, joy. We survived the lockdowns. We survived the COVID. Survived the poverty. And we're back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>